What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. All right guys, we got ourselves a big, big trailer drop today. So we're going to be covering this real quick and then we're going to go into a couple different things. Uh, a couple, a quick summon with my friend's account for Atomic Samurai and some obviously really big concerns with the drop of Atomic Samurai. Um, things I want to discuss. But first, before we go into any of that, I want to just lower my screen here so you guys can see a little bit less of me and more of the trailer. But let's go ahead one punch man season three you guys don't know how long we've all, i mean you all know how long we've been waiting for it because you've probably been waiting for this with me so here we go let's look into this first and, and, and take a look at this awesome awesome trailer i haven't even seen this it. my first time seeing it so i'll be reacting to it with you guys um but yeah super super psyched i'm assuming it's gonna be monster association obviously that's Garu. Bruh. He is probably the most wanted character right now in One Punch Man world, at least. Yeah, he is Let's go. Daga, Kareva, Chigata. Hebon, the Shusho, Hebon, the Sekats, Nano Sosimo Motana, Itadano, Ipanji, Sorega Dorio Kunomi, the Genkaino Tobira, Kojiake, Limita. There's our boy. Ah, the music, baby. Let's go. I've been waiting for this. I've read the manga so many times because of this damn s this fight here specifically with Garu and uh, and Saitama, Cosmic Garu specifically, obviously, right? So. Let's see if they have anything else here. It says English sub, so this actually had no English sub at all. It's kind of annoying that I was looking for. There you guys have it. That looked like it was it. Um, season 3 trailer. Take a quick look again, guys. Yeah, no, that was it. That was it. That was it. Okay, so. There you guys have it. There you guys have it. It's coming out very, very soon. Uh, super, super excited for it, obviously. We've been waiting for quite some time. I, I think, what, the, the last season came out a couple of years ago now? So let's, let's, we talked about the trailer. That's great. We're done with that. Let's move on from this and go over to the actual game. Okay, so if you guys watched my video in the morning, you guys already know I got myself Atomic Samurai. So this is my buddy's account. Um, so I asked him today. I was like, hey, dude, are you going to wail on this? Like, what am I doing for you? Do you want me to summon for you? He's like, hey, go ahead and summon. I was like, so are you going to wail on this? He's like, nope. I was like, oh, okay, cool. What was, he, what was his change of heart? Because he was originally like all in. And this is what you're going to start noticing, guys, very, very much from a lot of the players now who play this game, especially the ones who are spending. There is no reason for them to spend, right? So what do I mean by that? Well, simply this. They brought out a very wanted character, like a big time character that most, most of the player base do want. The problem is... They brought him out with absolutely zero content. What the hell are you guys thinking? Like, I don't even know where to go with this because like, first off, um, I want to say this before we continue on with that topic. Everybody was in, in up in arms that he wasn't on the regular banner. I don't know where that rumor was where he was going to be part of the regular banner. I kept telling everybody not to believe that because nobody knows until it's finally out. So I'm going to say this to you guys now. If you don't know how uh, these developers function, whatever you see, unless it's officially by them announced to us, don't believe it. Unless it's data mined somehow, right? Nobody, But nobody's been data mining this game. So anyone who tells you otherwise, guys, don't believe it. It's, 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 fall, it's fake news. So first off, Atomic Samurai is only limited. Now, secondly, he, is, he has been one of the most sought out characters in this game in terms of a banner. And it's crazy to me that you guys would bring out this, the devs would bring out a character like this without any inclusion of an event associated with this character. They brought out a character trial, 
which should be a standard for every character anyways. But they didn't bring out an actual like event storyline that we can participate in. And the second part that's crazy is now a lot of people are quitting because, number one, the pity didn't transfer over. We've been saying that for a while now. I've been saying that for a while now that the, the pity from Tatsumaki is not going to transfer over. So for those who are asking... It does not transfer over, okay? Pity does not transfer. I've been saying this for months, for a month, almost a month now, right? The game's been out for almost a month. I've been saying it almost from day one. It never was written anywhere. It should have never been an expectation. Not that it's a good thing or a bad thing. It's a horrible thing, as a matter of fact, that it doesn't transfer. And a lot of people are losing the summoning two, two atomic samurai right now, and they're not able to get them, so a lot of people are quitting. Not a good business move, guys, from the devs, devs part or by Crunchyroll or by A+, whoever, the, whoever we're going to be looking at right now, right? It's a bad, bad thing to do because it leaves a bad taste in the mouth of your, of, of your, you know, your community and your players. So you guys can see a prime example is my buddy who does not want to spend any money on this game anymore because he's like, what's the point? I already have a, he's like, I already have a full-on um, complete P6 uh, Tatsumaki, which does everything for me, why the hell would I want to spend another two grand to max out a character if I'm just doing the same content over again? And it's absolutely true. It's it's bang on. It, and everybody feels the same way. So for those people who are quitting, as free to play especially, they've got no skin in the game, right? They're quitting because they have no, they have nothing to look forward to if they lost the banner. There's no event. There's no reason for them to stay. There's no way to collect more world silver outside of what's introduced in the game. At least they could have done that. At the very minimum, they could have been like, "Hey guys, uh, here's Atomic Samurai, and here is more ways to collect world silver." That I think that would have been a huge draw for people to stay. If there's like, if they have a way now to be like, "Okay, you know what? I've just lost all the silver I've collected for a whole month." So what do I do now? And you're like, okay, guys, we have an opportunity here with you guys as the devs to create more ways to collect World Silver quickly. So before he expires, you guys can at least have another chance to get him uh, with at least your pity. At least one copy. That would have been that would have been one of your best moves possible, but nothing was done to go that route. So now people are just pissed and they're, they don't want to pay anymore. They don't want to play anymore. And they're tired of the nonsense. So I... I'm scared, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not. I'm not worried about the state of the game because I mean the game's only been out for like less than a month. Uh, actually, you know what? No, no. I'll take that back. I am scared. I am scared for the state of the game actually, um, because it's been only out for a month. People shouldn't be dropping like flies like this, right? And there should be more ways for the devs to look back and be like, okay, you know what? We've been making some mistakes here. We should maybe correct some of these mistakes and give people opportunities to try and get more of these. Um, more world silver in order to get the characters they want, right? Because at the end of the day, let's be real, we're playing a game here that's based on. Okay, this is good. This is good. We got the. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Um, let's hope. Let's hope it's Atomic Samurai for him. Because if it's not, he and I are gonna be pretty pissed. Uh, so, yeah, this is a problem, guys. It needs to be addressed quickly, and it needs to be. A, a, it needs to be the forefront of. I was gonna say, what the hell did I just get? Okay, we know Mac Lightning is not what we're looking for anyway. So that's one character we got. We want to know what the main character is. Perfect. We got Atomic Samurai for him. Okay. So I think that satisfies what he wants. Um, I don't know if he's going to go for the arm or not. But hey, we got Atomic Samurai for my buddy as well too. So there you guys go. For those who are like, hey, it's pain. He's getting, he gets whatever he wants because he's a streamer. There you guys go. It's not just me. I'm helping my buddy here. And he got Atomic Samurai as well. So yeah. Um, please guys. Please devs. Like figure out your stuff, man. We should not have... this. The game should not be in this state after a month. Like we should all have an opportunity to get ourselves, you know, um, we shall have the opportunity to get ourselves these characters. Better ways to get ourselves these characters, nothing there. So it's a little concerning, guys. Uh, for those who didn't get Atomic Samurai and are quitting, I understand. Totally get it. Totally understand why you're doing it. Uh, because quite honestly, I can't imagine myself in the state that I'm in as a free-to-play player to go back and refarm. 17,000 more world silver. I don't even think there's an opportunity to do so. The only saving grace for that in any way, shape, or form, that's not even enough, is the 750 bi-weekly um, credits we get for being Crunchyroll premium members. And that's coming tomorrow for the next one, but it's still not enough. So guys, I get it, man. Like a lot of you guys were like, can you please talk about this? Um, and, and, I, and I have. You know, for example, they also banned Gogo, who was the biggest whale in the game. 
Uh, he put it on the main Discord, and people were like, pay and make a video about it. But I was like, listen, I don't want to make a video about that because I don't know the whole story. And he got his account back. So clearly, there's there's situations going on with their with their team, uh, and they don't know what they want to do or why they're doing things. It doesn't look like he was cheating. It looks like they somehow their system thought he was, but who knows, right? So there's a lot of things that need to be fixed in this game, guys. It's only been, I think, a month, right, since the game's been out. Has it even been a month? I think it's been a month and uh, or close to it. And we've got way too many issues going on that need to be addressed, especially revolving around content. Now, now we can talk about it because before I was like, it's not that big of a deal because I was like, for sure, they're going to introduce something with him and they didn't. So, uh, so there's content. And then, of course, there is the other thing, which is the pity system. And then lastly, how the hell are we going to keep getting this world silver for every character that comes out? It's impossible, right? So think about that, guys. Your whales are quitting. Your whales don't want to spend anymore. Your whales don't want to play anymore. It's, it's all an issue if you guys allow it to be an issue. So I'm hoping that they uh, they get past that. You guys can see here, there's the Atomic Samurai biography, the Swordsman's Faith. A lot of people are wondering how you get it. And I said it from day one, you have to actually own the character to do it. This is proof that that was correct. So I'm glad to see that I was right, but I'm also upset to see that I was right because that means limited characters will not be unlockable with their biography quests unless you have them. All right, guys, Payne, let me know what you guys think about all this. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.